What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're talking about these little guys right here. These are the Pixel Buds A series. And if they look familiar, it's because they are. These are the Pixel Buds from 2020. And the A series look and feel exactly like their older siblings. Now, while the A series are a pretty solid pair of headphones, especially given their price point, we have to keep in mind that chances are they exist for one big reason. That's because there were some serious connectivity issues that plagued the Pixel Buds from 2020. That includes my current set as well, even to this day. So you and I are gonna spend some time diving a little deeper into the A-Series, but also talking about what went so wrong for the Buds of 2020. Let's do this. All right, so Pixel Buds A-Series Basics. It's available in two colors, dark olive and white. We got sent the dark olive, which I think is actually really cool. I'm a huge fan of dark green colors. Um, and it has a price point of $99, which compared to last year's Pixel Buds is about $80 cheaper. So that's pretty important. Now, while Google made these buds cheaper, they managed to maintain the things that made last year's buds really good. Mainly the design, which I'm a big fan of, the comfort in the ear, which is still great, the sound quality, which is really decent, especially given the price point, and the fact that the Google Assistant is built in. So whenever it comes to these headphones being smart, they're some of the smartest on the market, in my opinion. The Google Assistant is still my favorite virtual assistant. Now, let's talk about the demise of last year's Pixel Buds. So Pixel Buds 2020, what exactly happened with these headphones? So I have had these since they came out. I got them alongside my Pixel 5 last year and I actually really enjoy them. Now the Pixel phone, I have a 4XL and I have a 5. Neither of them I really keep with me or use anymore on a daily basis. Although I have gotten more usage in my Pixel 5 recently thanks to the Android 12 beta. But needless to say, I don't really use the Pixel Buds on an everyday basis. But for those of you out there who do, and you did order a pair of these, chances are you experienced some sort of connectivity issue where one headphone just wouldn't connect to your phone regardless of what you tried. I'm in that same boat. I'm not exactly sure what happened considering I don't even use these that often, but there is nothing I can do in order to get the left bud to pair with my Pixel 4 XL or my Pixel 5. When I open the case, both headphones show inside the case and charging, and as soon as I take both out, only the right registers and pairs with my phone. I have factory reset the headphone three times, and still, nothing has worked. Now, I'm not the only one. I'm not an isolated case. This has happened to dozens upon dozens of people in Google's online forums, and I honestly think there was some sort of quality control issue going on with the Pixel Buds of 2020. Now, the main reason why the Pixel Buds A-Series exists is to alleviate those connectivity issues. Thankfully, I haven't had any connectivity issues while using the Pixel Bud A-Series, but then again, these are relatively newer to the market, so we're just gonna have to see how these fare with the test of time, right? Now, while these are hopefully going to fix the connectivity issues, there are some subtle differences between these and the Pixel Buds of 2020. Now, thankfully, none of them lie in the fact that you still keep all of your smarts and you're not losing out on any type of sound quality, so that's good. That means the majority of your differences are going to lie in some very slight hardware changes. Starting off with the weight. Now, the Pixel Buds A-Series are noticeably lighter than the 2020 Buds, both with the case and the Buds themselves. Now, I think the weight difference in the case comes from the fact that you are losing wireless charging on these buds, but then again, they are cheaper, so that's an understandable cut. And in terms of the buds themselves, they're using more of like a glossy plastic as opposed to like a soft touch plastic that the 2020 buds had. I'm not sure if that has to do with the weight change, but it's definitely something that you'll notice in hand or if you're looking at them directly, obviously. The comfort and the fit in the ear is still identical and fantastic. Although I will say that with the A-Series being a little lighter, the comfort is a little bit better because as you start to use headphones and keep them in your ear for longer periods of time, the heavier they weigh, the more you notice them as time goes on. But these are lighter, so that's good. And you're also losing out on some tap gestures on the headphones themselves. And when I say tap, I actually mean swipe. You're losing out on the swipe gestures that were on the buds of 2020, like swiping forward to turn your volume up and swiping backward to turn the volume down, but you're still keeping your tap gestures. So you can tap once to play pause music, 
tap twice to skip to the next track, tap three times to go back a track, and you can still push and hold to access your Google Assistant. Now those differences, in my opinion, are more than acceptable. They're nowhere even close to a deal breaker. And especially considering that these have a starting price point of $99, you're getting a really solid value, in my opinion, with these headphones. Because you're retaining what made the Pixel Buds of the last generation so great. You're getting awesome sound quality, in my opinion. You're getting super comfortable headphones that fit nice in the ear and will stay comfortable for long listening periods. The battery life on these are also really good. I found that the five hours of listening time that Google mentions is pretty much close to accurate, and you'll get up to 24 hours of listening time with a fully charged case, which is great. And on top of that, you're getting some of the smartest headphones on the market thanks to the fact that the Google Assistant is built in and it integrates with your Pixel phone really well. Now. The cheaper price point is going to be great, especially considering if these manage to fix those connectivity issues that plague the 2020 buds, then I think we're in really good shape here. And quite honestly, if you are using a Pixel phone as your daily driver, I honestly think these are still going to be your best bet in terms of headphones that are going to give you the biggest feature set for your dollar, right? Now, if you're using other Android phones, you have a much wider set of options available to you. I think if you're using something like a Galaxy phone, right, you're probably gonna wanna lean more towards a pair of Galaxy Buds because of how well those integrate with your specific phone. Same thing goes with the OnePlus, and obviously there are still fantastic options from other brands like Sony and Bose available too. So all in all, I gotta say the Pixel Buds A-Series actually really impressed me considering their price point, but the biggest thing is hopefully these are going to last down the line and we're not gonna end up with another repeat of the 2020 Pixel Buds issue. But hey, with that, only time will tell. So if you enjoyed this quick little recap video, make sure you guys hit subscribe down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Peace.